OD interventions and teams. Here's what my plan is tonight. First, I want to clarify some assumptions for the explore some um, different OD interventions through uh, the different levels of an organization. Uh, I have a case study that I want us to look at, and in fact, um, I only have five case studies, so I might at break run off and make a photocopy of the other, another of a whole set, so we can do six tables, so we really popped up full. Uh, and one of the things that I really, really is important for me is to discuss this question around um, where's the best place to start when you're working with a team because that is always my big struggle. I don't know about yours. It's like, where do we start? So here's my assumptions that I, I have for tonight. First of all, this is an evening of dialogic learning. <laughs> That's how I managed to show up here with all these brilliant people in the room. Um, so with that, my other assumption is, is that OD peers share their knowledge willingly and uh, their experiences. And uh, my role tonight would be just to facilitate the process for us to share our learning together. So uh, I hope that works for all of you. Uh, I was thought I'd start also with talking about what organization development is for perspective of thinking tonight and what is an intervention. So for tonight, I'm coming from the approach of organizational development is a planned um, effort with the goal of trying to create effective um, organizations and, um, and effective lines of communication and people working together. So the interventions can be planned at different levels throughout an organization and that uh, us as OD professionals, what we do is that we actually take that systems approach and we look at the multiple levels through an organization as we are going in to do our work and we think about how those levels influence each other. So what's an intervention for ODs? Well, OD intervention is really again about supporting the client and supporting the organization to achieve organizational goals. And so, you know, one of the things that um, I get from people is, oh, you do that touchy-feely stuff. And um, I think, yeah, but you know that touchy-feely stuff? I never take my eye off the strategy. So while it's nice to get along and be kind and everything and generous to each other in our teams, let's keep our eye on why we're here. Because it's nice to be nice, but it's nice to be nice and still get down to work. And uh, another thing that an OD intervention does is it really helps us to build those strong uh, interactions and ties between people and support within an organization. So the other event, uh, in, interventions that we hear about could be things like medical interventions or, or when we're looking at uh, diagnostic uh, interventions in organizations. And, and it always makes me think of, you know, those interventions are the ones that we're looking for, uh, maybe a more simplistic approach to a problem, certainly for the diagnostic interventions. Um, and OD interventions aren't like that. We don't go in there with the same sense of we're going to find that problem and fix it. We go in there from a totally different perspective. And the perspective is more around curiosity throughout the whole organization at multiple levels. So when we're going in there as OD professionals, we're not going in there with, as I said, the direction of I'm going to fix this thing. We go in there saying, so what is the problem? What's the, what's the source of the problem? What's driving the situation here? And um, what's the, what approach do I want to take in looking at this? Or, or what other approaches are available to look at it? Um, and then, of course, I have tools in my toolbox. And I think, what tools will I take? And do I have the right tools to take? And, and if not, who do I know that has a tool? Uh, I think about where we're going to start. And I think about what's next after, after we started this. Do I have a plan for what could happen next? Um, I brought out... Uh, you know, a picture of a fractal, because organizations really are like fractals. They're, they're systems. There's so many different uh, components, and nothing's isolated from each other. Everything's connected. Uh, and the challenge is that if you can go zero down and look at something <coughs> smaller. You can stand back and look at the entire beauty and complexity of the whole thing. And OD, if we focus down too small, we miss that great beauty of the entire system. And so uh, I think that that's one of the things that we have to hold out front and center. There are no simple solutions in complex systems. And of course, any organization is a complex adaptive system. And, um, and so we have to think of organizations as networks and that simple solutions don't work. So in systems, when, whatever we do, whether we send someone for training or we go in and have a dialogue, 
We know that whatever's going to happen is going to be pretty unpredictable. So outcomes, the outcomes that we plan are not always the outcomes that we get. And the outcomes emerge as we go through the process. And that's one of the things that we have to be quick on our feet and shift and adapt and be comfortable with the fact that sometimes we just don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so along the way, solutions are changing. And uh, along the way, we have to look at the multiple levels of the organization. So um, when we are invited in, of course, there's boundaries around the work that we're given and boundaries that we're asked to look at. And so then the boundaries define sort of what we're, where we're going to start our work, but we have to also think about what's outside those boundaries. So not just that we're working with that one individual or that one team, but what's all those other things that are going on in there. So the boundaries define where we work, and um, at the same time, as OD professionals, we can't let those boundaries define our thinking. And we have to ask the people that we're working with to also think beyond the boundaries and think back into the bigger picture of, the, of what's going on. So um, whatever processes that we are asked to put into place, they're just the beginning. And um, at, when we're working and contracting with our client, it's really important or effective if we can ask them if we can point things out along the way that are beyond our boundaries, beyond what we are just asked to look at. Um, and sometimes the answer is no. So we get the client call, and I get the client call, and it usually starts with, hello, uh, we need team building. And I think they think we're going to go do some rope work or some climbing. Did you get those calls too? Yeah. Really and they generally don't need team building because team building is not an isolated event. Team building is also ongoing conversations, ongoing integration, action, thinking. Um, and so uh, that's one of my first things is to, to talk about, you know, what are your expectations. So back to my question, where do I start? So my choices of starting are either at the individual level, uh, the team level, uh, the organization, or thinking about you know, the whole larger um, environment around it. And so where I'm struggling all the time is when I start and where I start, um, how do we support it? And the other thing I always think about is, I remember one of my professors at Royal Rose, I don't know if he's still there, Phil Caddy, used to say that, um, Culture trumps change. And so uh, if I'm working with one person or a team and I can't have any influence on anything around it, um, what's the chances of success on that? And what do we need to do in order to have um, that person survive with whatever possible help that we can give that person? So I love that. Profession um, uh, culture trumps change. Phil Katie, you can quote him. So with that, I thought what we would do is get down to work ourselves as OD um, professionals and think about all the different types of interventions that we can do that are tools in our toolbox throughout the different levels of um, an organization. And so what <coughs> happens to be sitting in front of you? But a systems map. So in the middle, you, that is the individual. The next level is the team. Uh, and then the level of, outside of that, of course, is the organization, and of course, is the larger environment. So what I want us to do is to spend about you know, 10, 15 minutes in our groups um, talking about the types of interventions that you've experienced, or you do, or you know about through those multiple levels. And uh, we'll uh, check in with you and hear back from you in about 